Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I'm back again today with a Plan With Me video. I'm going to be working in my Erin Condren planner. This is the cover I've decided to put on it for the next, at least the next month. Uh, I may leave it on there, who knows, for the rest of fall and uh, through Thanksgiving. But for now I decided I was wanting to put this one on. I think it looks really, really pretty with this gold coil. And I hope you can see the the pretty gold foiling up in that cover. It's really nice. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to show you a few things I've got here. Um, let me start with the kits. These kits are from Print Petticoat Bandit on Etsy. I will link the store below. These are new to her shop. Very recently she added foil ready kits. All you have to do is just print the overlay on top of the sheets and foil them and let me just say this is a game changer I am thrilled uh, Kiara she used this particular kit um, and she had used gold foil on it and I saw that video this morning and immediately went to print petticoat bandit before I even saw her whole video I went over there and I bought 15 of the foil ready kits. The fall kits are ready to go. And so if you are a, a digital, um, if you like your kits to be digital and make them yourselves, uh, I highly recommend these. They were very simple to do. Just follow the directions that come with the kit on which order to print which page. Pages one and two are foiled and you also get a choice which was also really cool you also get a choice of the style of the foiling this example this one happens to be called autumn bell this kit and this example which is apple of my eye were both done with the the I'll call it confetti overlay just for lack of any proper term because I don't know it. Um, this one is the lighter one. There's one that is heavier. You can also choose because they're in both kits. I mean, they're both overlays are in each kit. This one I did in silver and is the heavy overlay. This kit is called Very Busy. And again, this is the one Kiara had used in, in hers. Um, her video that she did this morning <clears throat> excuse me the one I have chosen to use though is this one and I've pulled out a number of things to go with it I went with rose gold on this kit this one is called anything and as you look at her site you'll be able to see all the different um, pages of this I will show it all to you in just a minute but I wanted you to have a real good look at the confetti, especially the foiling, and see how beautiful this is. In fact, let's just go ahead and look through this real quick because it's, it's spectacular. Each of the pages is a digital kit, digital pages, whatever, that come in a, a full 8.5 by 11 and you print it on your own sticker paper. Then you put it through your laser printer and the overlay is printed over the top of the color layer, but it's printed in black. And that black toner is foiled. Make sure you read the directions on what order to foil the pages. This is page 1, 1A, 1B. And then this is the second page. They are different. When you foil, you cut one page one way and you cut the other one the other way. Uh, whether you foil first or you cut first that's the only difference so be sure you read which which way to do that these are gorgeous I mean we're talking this one page if you buy it on Etsy already made for you is probably what four bucks if not more in a kit you get to pay $25 for like one of these kits and you only get maybe six or eight pages this one comes with well actually you could do more than ten pages but there's plenty to work with and it's really really well done I was I've already written on the Etsy site and told her how well done these are and how much I appreciate them 
Okay, the next one is this. And these are headers, not headers, I'm sorry, uh, washi strips. So there's those. Now we get some checklists. The, I think the bow on these is really adorable and glitter four different colors of glitter headers. I know this is two sheets right here. There's that one. And the last page is all of these different girls. Aren't these adorable? There are six different girls and you can choose whichever one you you are she's got us all in there and i just think these are wonderful they're so cute so i'm really excited to get into this kit this is going to be um the first time i've used one of her foiled kits she is redoing all of the kits that um i think she had mentioned on instagram that she was also redoing um the rest of her kits as well and Looks like I need to come in here and get some of this adhesive off of here. It's starting to pick up dirt. I've also brought in some of my rose um, gold foiled things that I've made. And I've got the Creative Bee, the bow clips from the Creative Bee, and Party Happier. I think this might not be Party Happier look and see if I put the name on here because that's not the right clip for her I I do struggle now because I have four or five shops that I've bought palm clips um, these little palm um, things from and I, I don't always remember which one is which so I can see right now I need to make a master list of where I get all of my clips but that will be like right there and I'll write that down and it'll also be linked below so never fear you can find it if you want it this one is a gorgeous green I really think it goes well with the kit so I'm excited to have found that let's set these aside I have a pen gem this is uh, a rose gold barrel and it goes great with the kit and then I brought out all the washi tape and you know how I am because I like to make some pretty flamboyant uh, banners uh, using my washi tape some of this I can tell you where it's from and some I cannot so let's start with the ones I can of course most of you are aware that the bow washies here are from Simply Gilded uh, these are both rose gold foil this particular washi tape is a new one to me from you plan you and again I will link everything below you plan you it's a black with a rose gold uh, rose through it it's just exquisite I have a number of rolls of that and I've already been using it um, these over here some of these I've bought like these big ones here I've bought from buy sell trade groups and some of these over here in fact, I think this black one I even bought off of a buy sell trade group. But uh, some of these other glitter ones and foil ones I've gotten off of Amazon and who knows where. I, I don't know. But my I will link the Amazon ones for sure that I think it's these smaller ones and the smaller rolls here that I definitely got off of Amazon. So I brought those in. And then I have this little group here. This particular one is a rose gold foil from Packa Post. It is in cream, pink, and a, a brown. Is what that looks like to me. Maybe two tones of brown with a rose gold ribbon, and it's one of her ribbon tapes that I think she says that she calls that a, a ribbon across there. So it's really cute. So I wanted to open that up and pull it in. And then all of these right here are recent uh, purchases from the Pink Room Co. Uh, she is a Canadian seller on, I believe she is still on Etsy. I'm not sure, but I'll find out for sure and link her below because this was a recent one. 
So that's the Pink Room Co. These are the ones I'm going to be using for my banners. So I'm going to shove all that out of the way. Get my Erin Condren opened up. I tell you, it was really hard to choose. Of the four kits I worked on and got ready to use this morning, I, you know, having just watched Kara do hers, I'll link her, I'll link her YouTube below because she's really fun to watch. She's she's young, vivacious, and full of energy. Um, I love the way she talks. She's very well spoken. But she used her kit this morning and her plan with me, and I. I just jumped like right in head first to um, I don't know why that says Ms. Bandit's sidekick there that's so funny I, I wonder if that's a different shop name or something she was thinking of but anyway it's print petticoat bandit so huh I haven't seen that before I don't know what the sidekick thing is anyway I was so excited so I only got four of the 15 that I bought done today but wanted to get busy and use it so of course this was last week I used a kit from Samantha May plans and I'll link her below as well because I want to show that to you one more time yes we've been doing all kinds of stuff this week so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this out today is Sunday and I need to catch up in here and write down a few more things that we did and then I haven't yet done my September have you all I have one, but I haven't printed it out to use yet. And we'll get started here in the last part of this week is August, like all the way through Friday is August, and then September. Here we are, less than a week away from September. And I can't believe we're already that far into the year. It seems like we just had New Year's. Honestly, it does. But I'm old, and everybody says time goes by so fast, and yes, it really does when you're older. I like to white out everything on the page that might peek through any of my stickers, because I don't want to have to go fumbling around, find this again in the middle of my laying-down stickers. I'm going to white out all the dates. Then, of course, I'll have to look back and see what date I start on. 27th, and it's a 31-day month, so I'll be able to do that. So, anyhow, I hope you all had a good week. We, we stayed extremely busy this last week. Uh, as a little bit of cooler weather filtered through where I live, um, I kind of got the cleaning bug in me. And so we had spent quite a bit of time doing extra cleaning chores. This one is so hard to get because it gets thick in this corner. Of course, it does help if you actually have some white out on your dispenser. Right now, all the tree limbs and weeds and who knows what else he had up there my husband had been cutting on throughout the last couple of weeks he is wanting to burn we can only burn small I think they said it's 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 I can't remember piles and so when we get a, enough to actually you know take the time to burn we have to stop and burn because where we live in the mountains we can't burn a whole lot at one time I'm also I was you know, I may not need to worry about that. Let's just see. These bottom washi, honestly, I was not a fan of this bottom washi, but then when you put foil on it, it just takes on a whole new... Yeah, I don't think that's going to show. And then I wonder with one of my thinner washi tapes, I may just pull this all the way down leave a sliver of white at the bottom and I think because I just have to use some of this new washi tape from the Pink Room Co. I know it's not going to fit those two so let's move those and see which of these little skinny ones I might want to use. There's a lot of bows in the kit. I like hearts too. I don't want to use that one. And that's got both hearts and bows on it. I might just use this one. 
And did y'all see, I mean, y'all may have already known this little trick. Jacinia on the Planner Sophisticate showed this. You squeeze your roll just a little bit and you can actually get a fingernail up underneath that plastic. Y'all, that was a game changer for me. I was sitting there going, you're kidding, it's that easy? <laughs> yeah, it was. And I, thank you, Jacinia, for showing that because I had no idea. I, I was almost stabbing myself trying to open washi tape with scissors so that was really a great um, thing that she shared because we all struggle to open washi tape so other than I know y'all have been getting kids ready for school and stuff, but other than that, what have y'all been up to? I try to, honestly, I do try to just stay home as much as possible because I'm really bad about spending money. Obviously, I have certain things I like, but I'm bad about spending money that I really don't need to. And so I try to not do that. And I try to not do that by not going to Michael's, not going to Hobby Lobby, and those places that I would want to go to all the time, and just stay home. The other place I spend a lot is Walmart, which really doesn't make that much sense, because it's not like I'm going to wear their clothes. It's not like I'm going to, you know, shop for washi tape at Walmart, because they don't have hardly anything. My Walmart has some of the... Uh, what is the name of that 3m maybe washi tape i'm guessing that's the name of it i can't remember exactly but i keep looking at it and they never change it they never add anything it's just like six rolls of old already uh, hacked up washi tape that people have gotten into and they won't change it out so that's not fun and i may be wrong it may not be 3m i can't think of the name brand that they have there but it's one of those office supply area kind of things and it doesn't get it doesn't get just a whole lot of TLC. There are some stores I would love to go back to, but like I said again, I spend too much. And they usually do have something I want. When I see it I want it. Okay. There's the bottom washi. I love that. That's pretty. That's real pretty. Okay, now I do not have to go digging for much of anything in this kit extra because there is so much to choose from. Let me just grab it and flip through here. Okay, this is sidebar stuff. Full boxes. Headers. I'm going to need some headers soon, so I'm going to keep that out. And then the dates. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> That's exciting. I'm starting the 27th, I think I said. You know, I've got to double check here. Let me look. Because the worst thing is to put something on there that's wrong. Yes, we're starting the 27th. So I'm going to put these on real quick. And actually, I may go ahead and start the fast forward right now because um, I don't have just a whole lot to talk about or anything. But um, there is one thing I do want to mention real quick. I went through all of my Pekka Post washi tape. That would be this one and then all the, the others that I have here at the moment. And I did a video of it, and I put it up and on here on my YouTube. I will link that below as well. Am I doing this the right direction? Yeah. And uh, I'll link that below because if you're not familiar with Pekka Post washi tape, you may, and you like washi tape, you really do want to see that video and see what she has available. Um, I'll link that below. And that was just a recent video I made. So if you're interested, you know, have a click on that and see what you think. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to be working on the washi, on the headers, 
And when I get to the pull boxes, I'll come back. Okay, now we're ready for the full boxes, and I can't decide which one of these just yet. I want to put up here. They're just gorgeous. I don't know if I should do a light one, five light ones, and three kind of dark ones. Maybe I can do those together and those. That'll leave me all of these. So I'm almost thinking how about opening the window to fall. <laughs> Is that a good reason to use this one here? I've looked through a, all of my Mambi sticker books for quotes, so I think I might since I don't have just a whole lot of those and I've used what I have I may end up having to do more of the uh, quotes on my own and see what I can come up with okay I'm looking for my little half headers little tiny sheet of they're not in that group I'm hiding behind these Okay, and these little stickers that I've made, I've made these little half headers. All they are are the same width, but just half the height of a full header. So that's all that is. And I love using these, just the solid foils at the top and bottom of the box I choose for the sidebar just because they kind of frame it in so well. So I've been doing that. And then I take the month sticker. I'm putting August. I know some of y'all are putting September, but I'm putting August because I'm not ready for September. And I'm going to just layer that right up there. So that's why I white out August up here. I like using my own. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and come down the sidebar with the next stickers. So <laughs> I know that there are some. There they are. They are foiled. That's the problem. They were foiled. Okay. This says this is the start of anything you want and evidently that's a full box 
Okay. I'll put that in a week. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the Monday through Sunday sticker next. So glad I found that <laughs> right in front of me. Okay. So, so light. I'm going to go ahead and wipe these out real quick. And frankly, you know, the, the whole structure of the Erin Condren or any of the printouts that you use <laughs> is just a skeleton to lay stickers. So... That's what I have found. I'm almost thinking I want a this week because that's a beautiful font. But I'd like to have washi behind it. What is this? Oh, these are weird looking little circles. The whole thing made dozens and dozens of little circles in this whole area maybe something new is on in the in the market now and i have missed it i don't know but um i'm not using that i want a little bit of washi is what i'm looking for next to lay that on is that it there these washi strips yeah I kind of like to put this on something a little darker. That's thicker. Let's try that piece. I might as well start leaving a little bit of white space. I like that look. When I lay stickers straight, I like that look. Another dark one. That's also a good size. And just like a, I don't know, something maybe remember. I think remember would be a good one for me. <laughs> it's almost the beginning of the month. I'll have to remember a few things this week. Okay. And then I'll put that other sticker with these little bow checklists on it that are also foiled. Put that next. It's not quite straight. Okay, and then a little bit of something. I'll have that foo foo at the bottom. Foo foo, my favorite stupid word. Oh, I know this. Absolutely perfect for the bottom. Let's get that cut off. Okay, I like that. I like that dark at the bottom. I have really been enjoying doing my day by day and putting, you know, staggering my full boxes back and forth. I love the way that looks. So I think I'm going to continue doing that. But I want to start with, oh, I bet I used that bad one. Oh, well, it went on the banner so I have one of these little um, headers that I'd foiled that had a big black dot on it of toner that did not take foil so I guess I got by that just gonna watch out for it we'll start with that and I'll probably start with 
some kind of checklist. And I'm not sure. Let's see, we do have foiled. I may go with those. Those are not foiled, but they are cute, but I don't think I'm going to use them. There's also these little checklists that are scalloped on the side, but not foiled. I'm going to set this sheet aside, maybe keep it out of the way. But for the moment, I think I'm going to stick this one over there too. Okay, I've got washi strips. And here's a three heart, I mean three bow checklist. But it's not foiled. Oh, and more washi up here. No, those are full boxes. Well, who knew? So that's more full boxes to keep in mind. Hmm. Okay. All three of those are full boxes, y'all. These are some little zigzag. Interesting. They could go in between where you have a kind of a weird looking spot that needs a little something. And there are more flags on this page. I, I liked the whites. It's like a white glitter with some of the foiling on it. So I wanted to foil. There's always, it seems like there's always this little one that's been left behind uh, from the bottom washi. And I may need to start cutting those up and using that, especially since it's foiled. Um, and then these are all washi strips, foiled washi strips. So, I'm, I've decided I definitely am going to use those. I don't ordinarily prefer those when I am using my weekly stuff because I really, really prefer to write on a sticker. And I guess, do I want to start with that? Let me put one down and see if I want to actually just start the week with that checklist. I really don't think I want to start it with a checklist. I think I'm going to start it just with a, a pretty box. There are only eight of those boxes that have designs on them. And four of each. But that's not quite a half box. I think I'm going to put this green half box here. I like to kind of have something a little on the dark side right at the beginning of the week. And then a little bit of dark sticker toward the end of the week to frame, you know, frame my week. And I'm definitely utilizing these foiled headers. They are so adorable. I'm going to go ahead and can't because okay instead I'm going to actually pull that up. It's not my favorite because I really like to use that solid one there. I'm going to put this one here. And above each of those checklists, I'm going to use that header instead. But in the meantime, I can't write right through there, so I'm going to need actually another box already right there. So there's lots to choose from. Let's see. Green or let's use a lighter pink right there. I want to do two. No, I don't. Okay, maybe I need to rethink that first box. Okay, let's go back to plan A. Put it right back where I had it. Because I was doing what I was going to do anyway. And I just kind of need that right there. I don't like those dotted lines. They throw me, when I try to plan this way, they throw me just about every time. Oh, here goes back on that. 
Let's quick get the purse. Had to cut my nails, y'all. I've worked so hard to grow those nails. And I love pretty polish and pretty nails. Just, yeah. Oh, I like that stuff. But I had to cut them because I have to be able to play my violin. I play for church. And I couldn't play my violin with really long fingernails like I had. So I had to cut them. And I did my last light pink and glittery. Always glitter. Always, always, always glitter. I can't stand my nails to not have something sparkle on them. So that's kind of been a, a heartbreaker this week for me. I don't like short nails. All my life. I have I've played the violin by the way. Let me just throw this out there. I've played the violin since I was in second grade. Started taking lessons in second grade in public school and played all the way through college and beyond. I mean I still play, but you know. I played um where I took lessons and stuff all the way through college except for my very last semester of college. And they tried to get me, while I was student teaching, which was stupid, trying to get me to take lessons that last semester and drive all the way from where I was doing my student teaching an hour away from school to take a lesson once a week. And I said, nope, it's not in my curriculum. I don't have to do it. I don't know what that word was. Not, not curriculum. You know what you have to have for all your semesters I already got it all so they tried and tried and tried to talk me into it and saying that i really needed to do that and be a, an example to the other students and i said oh i am being an example i'm putting a lot of effort into doing my student teaching and taking violin lessons which means practicing all throughout the week so that i can be ready for my lesson is not helpful to me to get my degree and to do well in the classroom. I'm going to be a teacher, not a performance major. So I am I was a adamant about not taking lessons that last semester of college. They weren't real happy with me, but you know what? It was my life, my degree, and my money, my time and effort. Okay, and I still think that's crooked. It is. I'm going to try one more time. And if it didn't lay down straight this time, I'm just going to leave it because it's almost out of sticking. Just leave that there. Okay. Anyway, maybe I am going to chat more than I thought. Counting my light colored backgrounds. Hold on. I think I'll use this really, really dark background here and that one toward the end of the week and these in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put this little header here. I remember being in a lot of, I don't know trouble because I really stood up for myself in college and I wouldn't call it trouble I just I rocked the boat let's put it that way because if oh y'all I'm sorry I wish I could remember the word for that you know in the book that you get and it says uh, how many of which classes you have to have to to graduate that's what I'm talking about and I can't think of what that's called y'all know it I don't it's been too long but when I went through that, I fine-tooth combed over and over and over through that and made sure I had all my classes lined up so that I would have them um, scheduled. Because sometimes, you know, you only get a class once a year, sometimes every other year. So you had to take it when you could. 
and it was really hard to keep up with all that and make sure I had them all in the right spot. There was one class I did not, but anyway. Um, I'm going to take this off because I see something I want to use. These are little scalloped glitter headers. I'm going to put that right over the top of my full box. I've done that before and loved the way that looked. So I want to do that. Just glad I saw that in time. So anyway, yeah, I kept everybody hopping because I did not abide by all of their... Oh, there's a beautiful weekend banner right there in Rose Gold. Okay. I did not abide by their wishes. I stuck to the letter of my whatever... Do I have rose gold labels anywhere else that I have foiled? Rose gold, no I don't. Okay, here's my dilemma. I want more foil, less half boxes, there's foil. I don't even fill out all of this room every day. So I kind of don't need all that. I could use more white space. Oh, that's a little glitter one. That's nice. There's four here, and I wonder if there's not four more those somewhere else. Glitter. Those are foiled. Okay, I don't see them. There's some little heart uh, or bows. And then there's some foil labels. That might get me through. Let's take I'll take that darker glitter. Let's just hang on to that sticker. Let me stick it down. I'm going to put that darker one down near the bottom. Take it all the way down. And then I'm just going to put a small label. There's It's like white. I don't know if y'all can see that that's a glitter glitter headers but that's almost like a maybe a light light gray but I'm going to stick that in there and then I'll be able to put a large icon or something like that over it. She has some really cute icons. Uh, the little girls. So I may actually pick up one of those or one of the other, one of these. Well, since it's gold foil, you know, I mean, rose gold foil, I will probably pick those up. So let's see what, what else I can do. Okay, that took forever, but at least I have a structure to kind of go by, which is helpful. I think I want to put a full box at the bottom over here and the full box that I need to use next is going to be light colored and I don't have to use the ones that I don't want to use those so I don't have to use the ones that I have foiled but yes yes I do because the last sheet that I go to of course so do I want the steps or do I want to just use that plain sandy looking one or this walkway? I'm kind of thinking the steps on this lower section. I am going to put that right there. Okay. And then 
scalloped header on top of that. And I really do find it easier for me to work from the bottom up on some of these. Since I don't pre-plan by, you know, unless there's an appointment or something like that, I really don't use my anaconda planners and my, uh, or either of my planners, my B6 as well. I don't use them to pre-plan a real big busy, busy week because I'm not busy. I don't work. I don't have to do stuff outside the home most days. So I prefer not to overwhelm myself. Just leave it open and look for spots that I've put something pretty on to keep up with what I've done. Like if I've cleaned something, I'll write it down. If I work in my craft room and make stuff like today, then I'll write that down. Okay, I think next is going to be a full header with that's the sheet. One of these. I'm going to use the tweezers to make it a little bit easier. So I usually just leave myself open spots. And that comes in extremely handy. I don't have to worry about filling anything up. If it's blank, it's blank. And that, that's just the way it is. I love that there's so many different ideas. I love watching everybody's videos and how you plan your week. I might take one little snippet of the way somebody lays a sticker or decorates from one person and use it in my planner one week and see if I like it. I hope y'all do that too. I know those are right next to each other. I don't know if I'm going to leave that that way. I used that there. And then the hearts down here. I may do the hearts again. I think I'm going to put it in green this next time. Actually, I'm going to put it up at the top. I'm going to move this up to that spot. Then I'm going to put something different in here. Some of the smaller ones. I'm going to put one of these green ones right down here. Bring in a little more green. And obviously this was one of my old headers that I made. One of the first ones I made because I made them just a smidge too long. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in... I'm already thinking that's going to be a dark background so I can't get away with using this one next. I put those both here. I guess I could go ahead and use a glitter header instead of the tape again. I did use that. And I have that. I think I'll use a glitter header. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Got plenty of room to write. You know what? There's bows. There's a cute little bow. There's 
there's two of them right here. I might use that. Use those. Oh, I see. It's real skinny. But the bow itself is perfect for this spot. Whoops, I pulled it. That's cute. So I can center that correctly. That looked cute. Okay, cool. Now I want to start up here with a full box. So do I want the quote there or maybe on Thursday? I don't want to forget I have that quote. This one's going to use one of the darker two. I'm going to use this one. And I need this scalloped. <laughs> Just constantly fumbling through these. But I would rather have too many than not enough. Even if it means I'm fumbling around. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this out. I do love these little scalloped headers. They add a sweet touch to the spread. I like that. Okay. I think I'm going to put my checklist toward the bottom. At, I think I'll put it right at the bottom. So I'm going to Start down here. Make sure I fit that in. And a full foil header on top of that. And got to check it. Okay. I really want to pull in some more of this. Wednesday. How busy am I Wednesday? The 29th. It's across here. And if I need to put a label on top, I can. Because I love the look of this washi. And I really love some dark areas on here. Who would have known I would have liked black in my planner? I love pastels very much. And especially pink and cream colors together. But I used black in a kit somewhere back along the way and fell in love with it. I'm going to use this one to back up. Put it right up here. And give myself a full box. I guess I could put that white one down there. Have a dark and a light on the same day. I don't have a problem with white. I know some people don't like it. And there are these little, let me show you these up here. These are little bitty tiny arrows or darts or 
whatever. I think they look cute. So on that, I'm going to add, let's just put a couple of those. I like this green. I like it a lot. Kind of like a sage green almost. And give myself a little bit of room to write. First half the box, second half the box, something like that. And then I'll put just another label or let's see. white size. A lot of white space. Oh, full box isn't going to fit. But that one will be just about right. And if I need to, like I said, on the, that black washi tape, I can put another label. That's really cute. I like it. Okay, let's flip on over to this half. But I'm going to need a little bit of inspiration from the other half. Did I grab? Well, half, that's for sure. Okay, I'm thinking about this really light colored quote. Check. Do I really want to use that? Maybe instead of that one. I could cut this one up if I wanted to. So that one I think I want down here. So this one on Friday. I hope I can remember what I'm doing. And I need to put this one up here, that one down here. So this one would go Saturday. So Saturday, Friday, Sunday. And I'm going to put this one like right down. Because I'm just kind of eyeballing my spacing. I think I'll put it like right around in here. And I'll wipe this spot out. Maybe I think weird. Probably. We'll just say it's my advanced age and go with it. I cannot tell if that's straight. I'm horrible at seeing that sideways. Still bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my checklist up here. under this I whited out that little corner and it was throwing me I can't see where to start this Really, I cannot see where to start this. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, there's that. 
Y'all, I got this new glue. I heard somebody mention it. Gorilla Glue Clear. It does not stink. It's thin, and it doesn't bubble up like some of the other Gorilla Glue. I tested it. Let's just stop a second. I tested it on laminated. Both sides were laminated on these bows that I made and cut out. What do you think? I'm pulling pretty hard, too. It's sticking to lamination. FYI, that was free for today. And it's a little another little game changer that I found because I like making my own paper clips, but I also need to repair some that I have like accidentally messed up, and that helps a lot to have something I can use that's clear and that doesn't look nasty. I want green next. I'm looking around for some green, and I think this glitter header over here, maybe in conjunction with a green box. Just kind of wish they would jump forward when I said their name. There it is. Let's see if I like them both together. Don't think that's going to fit, actually. That. No, I hate to just make it fit. Don't like it to look like it's too tight. That still is not going to work. Okay, I still want green there, so I'm just going to put that one sticker right there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I am. And I'll just put this down here. Because it needs some more green. And I guess I'm going to bring this color in a little bit more down here. And it needs yeah, that a little. Well, I may have to move that header up a little bit. After all. Straight or not? Okay. These are really wide. I might use those under here. I need my full box here. Here. And here, yes. So this one first is the scallop. I have to use the bottom of one of those sheets has the scallops now. There it is. I need three more. I'm pulling them off. So I'm fixing to place all of those full boxes. I guess it's not going to matter. Again, I'm going to have to wipe that out. Get the 
fan. A little higher. And this one's going to be at the bottom of Sunday. Oop, not that gorilla glue. And I, by the way, the lid on that was really nice too. Easy to open and it has a little pin inside of it that goes down into that nozzle to keep it from becoming bumped up and solidifying. Wipe that out. And my last glittered whole box, glittered foiled whole box. I'm gonna want, what was I saying, these? Do I really wanna do that? Look right there. I think I do. Okay, let's try this again. I'm trying to match that with the one on the right. I did it in the wrong order. I should have done this one first and then the next one. just how it's gonna have to be. I guess it looks like it's laying straight but I just can tell it's not. Okay, sorry, I keep picking that up. Can't see enough to do it without doing that. Okay, let's put the checklist on. Especially Saturday. I need to make sure I have some checklists. And a full box. I'm sorry, a full header. And the same thing for Sunday. Yes, even another full box, uh, full header. Cause I want that foiling. Can I get that just a smidge? Okay. 
Okay, that looks good. And now, let's go back and do Friday. And I think I'm going to put my checklist first. There is so much in this kit. Usually I make two copies when I'm doing a, the print cut and everything. I just did one because there's so much in this kit. And I'm still going to have plenty left over to use for a B6 plan with me another time. Or maybe I can just do the first page, first, second page again with all the glittered full boxes and checklists. These, if I need to, I may not. There's just so much. I may not ever need to do that again. Okay, let's wipe that out. This is almost finished. Okay, full box, checklist, and now just some labels and goodies. I like to use green. Yeah, I am going to put a bow next to a bow. I'm not worried about it. Pull this color in next. I'm going to put... I'm just thinking of... Maybe I can... Make it look okay if I use maybe some of this brown right here. Make sure I'm straight. I'm probably not. Boy. Real quick. Okay, and then the last spot down there, what do I want? Don't want to use that again down on the bottom, do I? like I do. And if I put a little label over that, that would be good too. Alrighty. Well, let's see. I'll move some of the stuff out of the way now. Oh yeah, that is cute, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the black. And the green. I wonder if, do I want to actually put this brown in there too? It actually looks kind of good. I like putting a couple of clips on here. I think they, I think my book, I like it that way. I carry it around the house, so it's just, I didn't go out in public so I don't have to worry if I knock one off my husband's like is this yours so yes it is so if I had anything to write I would I have exchanged the ink in here for the high tech C takes forever to get them but that's worth it the high tech C slims uh, I get it off of Amazon check my Amazon link this is point four, by the way um, below if you if you're interested in trying to find that um, they usually have them in stock when I look so I haven't had a problem with that um, real quick I'm gonna write in two or three things and I'm going to also add while I'm thinking about it some of my 
foil stickers. I'll put them way up high here. Don't need those there. No. No, our appointments are next the next week, so I don't need to write those in. I have these I've done in the rose gold um, on my silhouette machine. If you're interested in using a silhouette, check out some of my um, what I wish I'd known videos because I there are so many things that I have learned and you, you kind of have to. There's a definite learning curve to that silhouette, but I have found a lot of happy hours working with it. down here we go to church on Sunday I'm sorry not on Sunday on <laughs> on Sabbath I don't know why I said that used to but I have my little church and my little Sabbath sticker so and that I am going to put up here that looks cute I need some laundry stickers I don't think no, those were the only rose gold that I had made. So that's it for the rose gold. Unless I use washi tape or something else from the kit. <gasps> that's right. Remember she had these gorgeous, where did they go? This whole sheet. Let's see, that's foiled. These are leftovers. These are what I have left over from the kit. There are those icons, these icons, all the girls. Those are cute. I mean, I didn't use half the kit. Look at all that. So, I wanted to look at these foiled beauties. What do I need to use? Laundry. There's one, and I know right there I was thinking of putting something like that. Here's a coffee mug, teacup, whatever. Is there another one? Okay. I like that. I drink coffee every day, so it's not like it's a coffee Monday. I don't know what that is yet. I know for garbage day, I don't like a trash can, honestly, but what else is there? You know, garbage is garbage. Let's just bling it up a little with some foil. Look at that. How am I going to do that? I might just stick it there just because that that uh, washi right there is really not necessary so I can cover that up cleaning I really don't want to put anything down because I only clean as I see a need I just did a lot of deep cleaning so I'm gonna wait on that and I'm gonna go ahead and put my nail polish sticker on Thursday night, like right here, I'll put that there because I'm pretty sure I'll need to do that by then. These are so cute. I wonder if I can get out. Yeah, but I can. I can vacuum on Monday. I wish she had a Roomba. I need a Roomba foiled sticker. But the vacuum cleaner is a vacuum cleaner. So let's just. I'll even put it right there. Next to the laundry. I love her little laundry thing here. I'm going to actually pull this out and put it underneath. Right here. So I could have used two laundry stickers on a day, isn't it? Oh, okay. 
Okay, here's a script sticker that says this week. I don't have to use this one. I can put foil. <laughs> if there's ever a choice, I always choose foil. I did not see that earlier. Let's see if she's got one for anything that can go here. Casual. Well, remember, perfect. Okay. And with that, I better call it quick. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to make sure I am in shot because sometimes I realize I'm not. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing what you make. That's better. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. Bye-bye.